Students from the Phoenix After School Center program are hanging out with Mayor Stanton and learning about nutrition and fitness at Tomahawk Elementary in the Cartwright School District. You guys get all the vitamins you can grow up and be super strong and super healthy. The city's after school program serves 2,200 students at 45 schools around the city. Starting young, the goal is to teach children good nutrition and engage them in physical activity. Does a hot dog count as meat? Hot dog counts as meat, I'm telling you. Outside on the playground, Mayor Stanton mixed it up with the students as they ran races using food props to build healthy meals. We know in particular that issues relative to childhood obesity and all the problems associated with it, uh, the earlier we can get started, uh, man better managing those things, the better off we are for these kids themselves, for their own lives, their own health, their own feeling of uh, healthiness. Uh, their ability to exercise, etc. And of course, from a public health perspective, it's going to save us a lot of money over a long period uh, of time. The state, county, and University of Arizona Cooperative Extension all partner with City Parks and Recreation to bring the health and nutrition program to after school students. A new partnership between Fit Phoenix and the Phoenix Children's Hospital provides additional resources for these Tomahawk students to track their activity and see the difference it makes. We're saving far more on the prevention side than we would have to uh, spend later uh, had we not done this. Through the end of November 2013, the FIT program has made it possible for more than 1,400 Phoenix After School Center students to log 180,000 miles. That comes out to more than 123 miles per student. We're setting a foundation for a healthy future, so we really want to start getting these kids thinking about what they're eating, their portion sizes, what their plates look like, are they getting enough fruits and vegetables, but most of all, if we can start them being active at a young age, it will really become something that they just do instead of something that they have to do, which is a huge difference. It sets them up for success for everything. So once you've established those healthy habits, it prevents that future risk of chronic disease. We're trying to change this obesity epidemic within a generation, and the place where you can start the earliest and have the most success is with the youngest generation. So in the preschools environments, in the school environments, and help establish healthy eating habits at a young age so that it carries them throughout adulthood. These children are our future. The ability for each child to learn is directly impacted by their health and the food choices they make. I talked to my dad, I told him when they gave us um, the first day a pack of nutrition, they gave us this handout. And one time my dad made me the chicken breast, the strawberries, the carrots, and the greens. It was good. <laughs> no chef is going to want to serve bad food, so I'm going to taste it. Oh yeah, it's good, all right. Teaching these lessons early can make a big difference over a lifetime. For No 99, I'm Chuck Emmerich. The juice, I'm gonna add the juice to it also.